YouTube, YouTube, that shit do. My famous model, you ain't got to subscribe, but go hit a like and hit me with a thumbs up and check a video out and let me know if I'm kicking some real shit. This right here, I was checking out the SA Homie Dubs platform. And he was like speaking on the black and brown saying that he feel like it seemed like it's only the Rasa on their platforms pushing, you know, kind of like the, you know, the, the lightweight unity or whatever, you know, however they feel like they addressing the unity thing, homie. In so many ways, that might be true, homie. It may be true. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of black hoods, homie. That then sat at these tables, homie. And I'm one of them that sat at a table and, and, and got into it with homies. Disagreements. Motherfuckers not feeling the the, the, the purpose, the movement, the cause uh, 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 for the future. And not just us, just for the, the younger youth can kind of move about the communities and do their thing, homie. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of us sat at that table, homie, and, and was ridiculed by our own peoples. Some was with it and some wasn't on us trying to, you know, sit down and make the brown and black thing go, homie. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a, a, a lot of us, homie, and I'm speaking for myself, too, and a lot of dudes I know, homie. We, 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 you know, a lot of us not know racial dudes like that, homie. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I remember when I first became kind of like from the hood and shit. We kind of like really shared our turf with the with the Inglewood Thresses, homie, the I thirteens and shit. They was on some of our blocks. They was at somebody that we shared the park with them, you know, briefly with the ones that was on on that side of town with us and shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I remember, you know, seventh grade going to school. You know, uh, uh, uh best homeboy, uh, uh. A gangster, aka little psycho, Inglewood 13. I kicked it with that dude like every day and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because when you you know you first converse, start banging, a lot of your your updating extra uh, uh, curricular activity and shit is at the schoolhouse, homie. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I bang. I got a chance to bang with with little gangster. I got a chance to see a uh, Husky, uh, uh, Moreno when he was banging, uh, 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 Scrappy, uh, Corky, you know, uh, Big Donut, Inglewood 13. You know, I got a chance to, to kind of like peep these dudes from, from fucking with Gangster. I got a chance to kind of peep these dudes, homie, and hear these dudes dialogue on how they was getting cracking and doing their thing and shit. And I was hearing about the, you know, hearing through these motherfuckers how shit is and shit in the streets and shit, far as with the with the with the violence and the activity and shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I kind of like kind of like shadowed them dudes a little bit, me personally, homie. You know what I'm saying? And uh, at them times when we, were it was like you know I didn't been functioning with them dudes and 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 and, and them dudes, you know, we was beefing with sixties or legends or something. And them dudes will feel the same way. Like, well, you know, at them times, fuck them dudes that y'all beefing with. And we felt like that when they beef with the Linux at times. Like, you know, certain motherfuckers that I fucked with in my circle when we hung with the I-13. We was like, you know, no disrespect. But we was like, you know, fuck the Linux and shit. Because that's how we was kind of like moving at that time. It didn't really get real racial like that. It wasn't real racial like that. And I remember times because we shared buildings and hung out with them dudes. I remember the OG homies, you know, they'd be drinking and hanging out all night. And them niggas might have us have some chunkers with the I-13s and shit. It might be a good day for the homies. It might be it might be a day the homies wasn't really on that block thick and, and, and get into it with the I-13 homies at that time. And, and the homies might not might not came out so jazzy. But we, we still turned up a 40 ounce. We weren't talking about, like, killing these niggas on the block. And them niggas probably weren't thinking about killing us on the block at that time, homie. And uh, and kind of like how I got my name to G-Half 
No disrespect to the rips, but my homeboy, the third letter K, uh, uh, CK Capone, no disrespect to the rips. He give, he, he, he give me my name half and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, me hanging with the SA homie gangster, you know what I'm saying? Real tough and shit, AKA little psycho. I was, you know, I'm with him every day. I'm coming to school because back then, a motherfucker be kind of like dressed like an essay a little bit. Not on, I'm just saying you might have a, a motherfucking flannel on. You might have that motherfucker buttoned to the T with a few of them dropped open. Motherfucking khakis might be kind of like not that, you know, super big like them, but kind of big. Motherfucker kind of had the essay style about itself and shit. You know, kind of with his with the with the bang G dub black black dress code, nigga kind of twisted it with the S cholo splits on the ankles and shit. If the pants kind of like, you know, kind of like slender at that time, niggas would hit him with the cholo cuff. So my homeboy give me the give me the half, you know what I'm saying? Cause the motherfucker was short. And me functioning with gangster. He 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 slapped the gangster on there, so it became G half, gangster half, from fucking with gangster. So part part of my name came from a South Sider, homie. You know, an active South Sider. Gangster wound up getting killed at that time and shit when we was young, cause he was active. You know, I looked it forward to coming to school, seeing that nigga back there, G up Ben Davis down. I go sit by him, we both chunk up the eye, give up the B to each other. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how we was doing it, homie. You know, so I just wanted to move into that, homie. And then you got a gang of, like, you know, blacks, homie. Yeah, we we scattered out. We dysfunctional, homie. That's true and all, homie. But just like they know it's some solid black motherfuckers from out of all these turf, homie. I wouldn't give a fuck how high power a South Sider is, homie. He know it's solid. Bloods and solid crips, homie. We didn't jail with the motherfuckers. The motherfuckers didn't, didn't told us as individuals, homie. Man, you's a solid motherfucker, homie. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know we didn't we didn't stood how we had to stand, homie. And 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 and, and they give a motherfucker they props, homie, because they know they outnumbered. But then but they like the caliber of how a motherfucker move, homie. You know some of us some of us blacks move structured as a motherfucker, homie. We move damn near like a motherfucking black south side or some of us, homie. Because we real militant, homie. We respectful. We cordial, homie. You know what I'm saying? We cordial, homie. You know what I'm saying? About how we program and how we function, homie. You know, so that put some of us on the same mentality level as them dudes, homie. You know what I'm saying? Down and put it down. Down and go to the extra mile. But we'll fuck our get down up. Like Dub say, we are dysfunctional, homie. You know what I'm saying? And then I want to say too, homie. You know a lot of, lot of, lot of the essay homies and shit, hoods and shit. You know, they, they, they throw the finger at us. Yeah, homie. Like, like anybody, homie. That's kind of like outnumbered, homie, or feels some type of way. Sometime motherfuckers gonna always stay on their aggression, aggression tip, homie. You know what I'm saying? You know, I heard in the beginnings of time, homie, like in the 80s and shit, brothers was kind of like moving shit, homie. You know, having like a strong hand and shit. And then, then the dynamic turned, homie. You know what I'm saying? As we started getting dysfunctional, true, true, I heard, homie. So, you know, and I look at it, homie, and I'm speaking just from me to, 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 to the blacks and shit. I be looking sometimes like nigga ain't even really in no big ass condition, homie, in shape. To kind of really, really be like tripping like that, homie. Because you look at every day you get up, homie. We got to go fuck with them before we fuck with us, homie. Nigga can't go nowhere and get his cars fixed all day. Go somewhere and just shop all day and do shit. A lot of shit is funneled through them, homie. And and, and, and and they getting this bread. So as a motherfucker getting this bread, they should learn to be a little bit more quadrant and, and, and friendly and fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just I just wanted to touch on that shit, homie. And a lot of blacks like me, homie, I got Latin and Hispanic in, in, in my family and shit, homie. So, therefore, I, I feel offended when they say some shit. Because it's like, nigga, I'm Ross at the end of the motherfucking day. Even though this blood's 
I'm cut with Rasa too, homie. So, 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 that shit actually fuck with motherfucking blacks from different hoods that's kind of cut with Rasa, homie. When, when, when we hear the negative shit, homie, it's like, it's like you downplaying, you know, even all this shit is psychological and shit, but a motherfucker still take a uh, uh, shit like, man, these motherfuckers don't even know some of us Rasa, homie. So we all slandering and fucking over each other. And we, and we, we do need to get that shit together though, homie. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to share, share some enlightenment. On, on my story of, of fucking with the Inglewood 13s inside my turf, sitting down at the table fighting for peace inside my turf. A lot of us do that, homie. You know what I'm saying? And when we don't run each other, homie, so therefore, you know, it's, 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 it's damn near like, you know, every man for himself out here, man. But it's a lot of real motherfuckers from these black turfs, homie. And, and it's a lot of us, homie, that want want shit to be cool for the black and brown youth coming up, homie. So, you know, we just got to open up the lines of communication and stop pointing the motherfucking fingers at each other that we've been doing for fucking decades and decades and decades and decades, homie. You know what I'm saying? We all probably cut with a little bit of each other in us, homie. And that's what make us all like niggas. Like I say, homie, I ain't racial. I look at the essays like, like, Nigga, we could be cool chopping it up today, nigga, and we go to war tomorrow, nigga. It be like some crippin' blood shit, like we all men and can laugh and kick it. But if my turf fall out with you, nigga, that's what it is, homie. So that's what it be on with a lot of us. We don't be racial. We just move like our turf, just like y'all get down, homie. So I'm just leave it like that, and I just wanted to touch that comment a little bit with, with dubs, homie. You know what I'm saying?